Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. You'll get all the updates. Uh, really excited for today's beer. It's a local beer, so hashtag drink local. Uh, it's courtesy Artisanal Brew Works. Um, I t uh, hung out with Kurt, co-owner and head brewer there uh, the other day, and I uh, got the proper glassware. Got some beers I'll be uh, reviewing. I have a lot of stuff to review. I'm really excited. I'm pumped. I got a bunch of uh, cool stuff from them and other stuff coming up, so make sure you're checking that stuff out. I think I said the word stuff enough. Um, it's a Wit beer or a Vit beer. Um, Lower ABV, which is why I'm doing it. I just got home from work. Uh, long day, and I thought, you know, I should probably ease into my evening. So, uh, White in the Glasses Wit. Uh, brewer owned uh, Wit beer with coriander and orange peel. Keep refrigerated and drink fresh. It is very fresh. It's 4.6% ABV. They're out of Saratoga Springs, New York. Um, real quick about this beer. This is um, a tweaked version. Uh, trying to get more mouthfeel. Uh, everything is the same in this beer that had been in the uh, prior batches, or the, at least the most recent batch, I should say, except the water treatment's different. Um, he told me a little bit about that. I don't know if he wants that information out there, so I won't uh, blow up his secrets, his trade secrets. But um, yeah, so the only thing that's different is the water treatment. It was really cool when we were hanging out. He grabbed the last batch, and then this one, and we did it side by side, and uh, it did up, it did, uh, the, the mouthfeel was up a notch. It, it's not like it went from like a, a normal, uh, a whip beer to like a milkshake IP or something crazy like that, but it definitely, we both noticed it went up a step, and there were um, a couple of little differences that I'm excited to get into and talk about, uh, but let's put the beer. Very excited for this proper glassware, right? Because beer just tastes better. In proper glassware. Look at that. Beautiful, almost sunshiny yellow. Um, I mean, I don't know if I can, if, should I even say off white head? Like, I think it's just white, teeny tiny bubbles, about one finger ahead on that guy. Uh, I mean, that just, that totally looks apart. Um, you know, it's a, it's got a little bit of, of a haze to it, like the style should. Um, I was telling uh, uh, him, uh, Kurt, obviously, um, you know, one of the things I like about this brewery is they're, they're doing traditional styles, which I really appreciate, obviously, and then the same people who did those Warheads beers, you know? So, like, you can get, you know, some traditional Belgian-style offerings, for example, and, um, you know, they, they, there's, like, some, um, uh, you know, more new school, the New England IPAs, pastry stouts, you know, Warheads, that sour IPA, or sour beers, not IPAs. Anyway, um... But yeah, I really like that, the, you know, and I love all this, all these kinds of beers, so it's really cool to see. Let's get into the aroma. And it's interesting what the, the base does, but also the addition of the coriander and that orange peel. You're getting so much of that citrus from both of those things, obviously. I think the coriander is kicking up a little bit of lemon as well, which is so refreshing. And that was one thing uh, I had noticed is, well, he, he had said more citrus in this new batch, and I was specifically getting an addition of lemon. So I was getting that orange thing that's definitely here in both. And in this one, I feel like the lemon's up just a little bit, but definitely worth noting. Super, super faint sulfur note. And it was interesting. I mentioned that to him. I don't know if I've ever said that in a beer review, but as we were doing this side by side, I said, I get a little bit of sulfur in this one. He's like, yeah, it's fresher. He goes, um, I guess when they were brewing it <laughs> uh, for a couple of days, it was really gnarly in the brewery, Brewery, uh, how much it smelled like uh, sulfur. So uh, yeah, it's not like full on uh, disgusting sulfur, but it is, there is a, a faint note of that for sure. That, that the the citrus is what's dominant. There is a soft, like grassy or, or um, you know, a, a, a earthy element kind of a thing going. But it, it just it really does smell true to the style, which I think is great. And uh, again, I'm a big fan of this beer. Let's get to the taste. Cheers. That 4.6, you know, so it's, it, again, it's at that style. Um, the the mouthfeel, again, I know it's up a little bit. And then it, it's obviously a little, um, 
a, a lesser of a mouthfeel than, yeah, like a New England style IPA or a, a, a um, you know, whatever. I mean, it has wheat in it, but it doesn't have like the oats and stuff too. Um, the, the, and I kept using this word refreshing when he and I were talking, like it is just so refreshing because you get that citrus, you get that soft lemon with the orange and it's like reminiscent of like lemon water uh, on a nice hot day. Uh, you know, how, how refreshing that is. So you, you have the refreshing component, you have the true to style component, you have, I mean, I just, I can't get over that little bit of lemon in addition to the orange. You can see what that water treatment does to it. You're going to, and the reason I said is because you get a little bit of like a minerality, um, which is lovely. It's, just, it's, a, it's such a good representation of the style. Um, you know, in, in the finish as I'm talking, sometimes when you have these Belgian ales or Belgian style ales, it could be like a little bit bubble gummy or something. I can see that actually in this aftertaste, a, a, a little bit of a, um, you know, whether it's bubble gum or um, some sort of a candy or something. It's not overly sweet though, but it has that kind of a, uh, of a of a taste lingering, um, yeah, it's, it's so good. There's about three quarters of the way through the sip. There's a little uptick of, you know, like a, a bitterness. It, it's somewhat prickly on the tongue, which is so pleasant. Yeah, I mean, it's just good good mouthfeel experience. Good good flavors. Uh, again, true to style. Four point six percent. You can crush these. Clearly, this is a winner for me. Um, it's just so good. And I, again, I love some, doing some of these more traditional styles that I haven't been drinking uh, off camera or on camera. Um, and don't worry, I got some weird stuff. Not weird, but I got some some more uh, experimental sounding stuff from them coming too. So yeah, as, as traditional as this is, <laughs> you're going to see some funky stuff coming uh, from them uh, with these reviews. So thanks again, Kurt, and the rest of Artisanal. Appreciate everything, obviously. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate those views and uh, likes and comments and the subscriptions. So please do all that. Check them out on Instagram and Taps. No hype beers at both those places. Uh, and again, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, drink local. Cheers, everyone.